Uh, coming up on 714, now when you think of New Haven, maybe you think of Yale or Yale New Haven Hospital or the new Q Bridge, the Pearl Harbor Memorial, etc. But you probably don't think of pirates, grave robbers or exorcisms. But maybe you should. Michael Balava is out with a new book about New Haven that includes all those things and more. And this is nonfiction. It is aptly titled Wicked New Haven. And he joins us this morning. Welcome. Really appreciate you coming in. So My was, pleasure, Jeff. Was New Haven really the bad boy of Connecticut cities? Well, you know, every city in Connecticut, every city throughout New England has a, a, a wicked past. You know, we think of, when we think of legends, we might think of Salem or uh, the first witch trials in Connecticut in, in Wethersfield, but New Haven has an extensive paranormal history. I guess it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges, mm. but, but they're all paranormal apples and oranges. Sure, yeah, so it's different different uh, types of mm -hmm. paranormal, okay. So who are some of the unusual characters in the Elm City's past? Well, uh, I, I always, I, I've always been interested in pirates, and looking back at New Haven's uh, earliest history, the pirates, for instance, like Captain Kidd, was very familiar with uh, Long Island Sound. His home port was, was New York City. Mm -hmm. And um, Captain Kidd would, be, would have been familiar with uh, the Pequannock River in uh, uh, the, what is now today Bridgeport, and of course the islands and the harbors, the inlets around New Haven. Is this an illustration from the book? This is an illustration from uh, an earlier history, uh, paranormal I history, okay. I did, so uh, Wicked Kidd. Bridgeport. Yes, yep. Wicked uh, Bridgeport talks about Captain Kidd's buried treasure, just as New Haven has legends of buried treasure. Isn't there legend of uh, Captain Kidd having buried some treasure on one of the uh, Thimble Islands? Is it out That's there? That's right. One of those. Money Island, Thimble Island has a has a legacy, and folks will still go out there to this day looking for Captain Kidd's treasure. He did. He's one of only two pirates to ever have buried treasure. He did bury treasure on Gardner's Island in Long Island Sound. Isn't that interesting? And that's the island that uh, at low tide people can walk out to it, right? Well, that's Charles right? Island. That's another site. It's a good thing you're here because <laughs> I'll get everybody lost. We'll have to get a shovel <laughs> and head out. Um, uh, but Who I else? like to include Captain Kidd because New Haven has its very own pirate, uh, Cast Iron Bill Delaney, born in uh, uh, New Haven and traveled the world. Yeah. Uh, turned to crime at an early young age, uh, commandeered uh, several ships, eventually did murder his captain and was put to trial and then hung out on Long Island. After traveling the entire world, he really he ended up just on the doorsteps of New Haven, where he would always come home when he was often homesick. He'd and always come back home. So he, can't, he got hanged by his homeboys. Well, nearby, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and why Cast Iron, by the way? That's an interesting uh, nickname. He named I himself. Wish, I wish I had that kind of a nickname. He named himself. He was just a, a rough and tumble kind of guy with a big burly red beard, barrel chested, and uh, was always out and about, loved uh, boxing, fighting when he was in Australia. He tamed, when he worked in the mines in Australia, he tamed the local bill, uh, bully and really? challenged uh, the bully to a fight and became the uh, folk hero for all the miners in that area of Australia. Fascinating. Wow, he really did get around. Yeah. Who else do you have here? Well, um, there's also Southwest Ledge Lighthouse, and that's you, you'll see it from I-95, mm -hmm. right at uh, the mouth of the harbor. That was dedicated January 1st, 1877. Immediately, the lighthouse was uh, plagued by uh, terrible dampness, uh, rancid water, insect infestation, and they said that's what contributed to uh, the mental disease that claimed Niles Nielsen, the lighthouse keeper who went insane and went, went out to attack the head lighthouse keeper, uh, Keeper Tonneson. And uh, trapped in the lighthouse, they, uh, you can um, uh, kind of imagine a Stephen King Sort of a misery type of thing? Uh, or, misery yeah. or The Shining. And Maybe it was lead paint. <laughs> I wonder. You know, it could have been. Yeah, you, it could have been. And these are the interesting things that history kind of Niles was back. a hero when he was a keeper in Long, um, Rhode Island at a Rhode Island lighthouse, and he came to New Haven, and he went mad. Can people access that lighthouse? I don't even know. There is a breakwater. The breakwater that attaches it uh, mm -hmm. was built between 1880 and 1890, but you can't get out there. I guess, guess by boat you could, you could visit it. What are some other sort of interesting places as we kind of start to finish up here? Uh, the grave site of Ichabod Umberfield. He I like was, the name already. Oh, he was a kind-hearted farmer that uh, confronted 
uh, an ax murderer, invited, the man uh, stormed into his house and he tried to calm him down. He knew the ax murderer's family and uh, didn't do any good. The man was demented, went after uh, farmer Ichabod with the ax, decapitated him in his own home. And he's now buried, Ichabod is now buried in the Bethany Cemetery. And on his gravestone, it does say, uh, Ichabod Umberfield murdered by a maniac. He, the, uh, that gentleman, the murderer, was uh, um, from the Sanford family, attached to the Wakemanites, a cult in New Haven. Um, similar, you could draw parallels to the Manson family. Really? In the not late 1960s, and here it was the 1850s in New Haven. And they followed Rhoda Wakeman, who had uh, thought of herself as the prophetess, gathered her followers, and they eventually had to challenge the demons chasing her. This and is amazing. Exercised stuff. a fellow by the name of Justice Wakeman, uh, excuse me, uh, Justice Matthews. The Wakemanites exercised him, and he was murdered during that uh, um, uh, ritual. Too bad for him, but the whole story is in here and so many other things. Oh Michael, gosh, right? yes, the okay. ghosts at Yale, um, again, the pirate stories, haunted light, light ships. Michael Balava, I wish we could go right through oh, the entire gosh, yes, book. Now yeah. you've got me really, really, uh, you've whetted my appetite for this uh, very interesting history. It's perfect reading for summer as well as autumn. A great beach read, yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Michael Jeff. Balava, author of Wicked New Haven. If you want more information, you can, of course, go to our website, WTNH.com. Click the on-air tab and pull down to the... Uh, Good morning, Connecticut weekend section.